Okay, yes. we just have it. Miss Evert leads by four games to one in the second set and by one set to love. Once again, that two-handed backhand really destructive. And what a pity that Virginia Way keeps attacking that side. Chris Evert here is so secure on the backhand wing, the double-hander. She read the volley, two points from the end of that game, which Virginia Way hit across court, was waiting there to project the winning lob, and on the last point on the approach shot, waiting again to project this shot down the line. This is what Wade's up against when she's playing against the champion in this form, or rather not the champion of Wimbledon, but the world number one. The rally develops. Virginia always looking for the chance to go in, and here she goes, not deep enough, no pressure at all, and nudged down the line with clever disguise there. She could equally well have whipped that across the court had she wanted to. And they're remembering last year and trying to pick up Virginia Wade now. She needs some help. She's 1-4 down, second set. Love 30. Well, off the wood of the racket and the net court. Yes, that's a brilliant shot. Love 40. Really exquisite, exquisite volleying pass there. Miss Everett leads by four games to two in the second set. Well, that's put new heart into the crowd, and I imagine it's put new heart in Miss Wade, too, to recover one of the breaks against her service. 2 4, second set, having lost the first. Quiet, please. Somebody catching the ball in the crowd, getting a, a cheer all to uh, himself. Love 15.
15 all. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen forty. Two great points, and Virginia Wade hasn't put a first service in in this game, just when she needed to be at her serving best. Thirty, forty. Game for Miss Everett. <laughs> Miss Everett leads by five games to two in the second set and by one set to love. Well, that really was a pity. Virginia not getting one first service in in that game just when she needed to be absolutely at her best in every way. And I think there that the pressure that Chris has put on her with the return of serve showed because Virginia was so keen to get the first serve in deep that she went in fact a bit too deep and was serving a lot of first faults long. This is one of the th things about playing Chris, you know you've got to make such a good shot to win the point that you press a little bit too hard and make the error Chris Everett coming back to serve for the match. 5-2 up, second set. <laughs> 15 love. Fifteen all.
30, well, from that low angle camera, you saw just how much running that uh, Virginia Wade had to do. What a clever placing of the uh, final forehand. Not going right across the court at all, but more or less where Miss Wade had come from. 30-15. Forty, fifteen. So two match points for Miss Everett. Oh, that's it. An, an amazing pass for that. Forty, thirty. But still match point. First service. Game A set call. match. Well played, Chris. There didn't seem too much doubt about that once you got the first set in the bag. Oh, <laughs> first set was tough. You know, I think Virginia and I were both very nervous. Um, and I think we played a little bit tentatively. I don't think we played our best tennis the first set. But as soon as the first set was over, I think we hit out more. And the second set, I thought, uh, was an excellent set of tennis. Did you feel the pressure was particularly on her this time? Yes, I did. I think, you know, last year, um, up until Wimbledon, I had pretty much dominated women's tennis, and I felt that the pressure was on me, that I was expected to win. Virginia, on the other hand, was very loose, was very relaxed. She had no pressure on her, and she played, you know, great tennis because of that. This year, um, I think Virginia felt the pressure. I could sense it, you know, as I looked at her on the court. I thought she, her face showed a little bit of nervousness, and, uh, I think it showed up in her tennis a little bit too. And I, on the other hand, felt very relaxed. Uh, you know, she'd beat me this time last year, and I had nothing to lose. She was defending champion, and uh, I played, you know, pretty well. Your backhand returns seem to be going particularly well. Well, <laughs> Virginia's serve is very good. I think she has the best serve in women's tennis as far as speed is concerned. And she wasn't happy with her serve today. No, I know she missed quite a few first serves. I think that had a lot to do with the wind. It was windy out there. It, it really didn't appear to be that windy, but I know I was having a little problems with my serve also. Um, I think the wind factor probably affected her game more than mine. Did you watch the end of the other semifinal? No, I didn't. I didn't. That was very sad, but anyway, yeah. now you know who you're playing. Martina, right. Would you have uh, preferred to have played Yvonne? Or? It doesn't really matter because I've lost to both of them <laughs> once this year and Yvonne I've always had tough matches with. She is capable of brilliance. You know, she's a great player. Martina is playing tough tennis. Martina is playing very consistently now. Uh, I know that if, if I expect to beat her, I'm just going to have to play very well. I'm going to have to play a little bit better than today and I'm not going to take her lightly at all. And you feel unlike last year that you are now psyched up really to win again. Well, I've always said I had more desire this year, and, and I think that holds true. Um, I think this match gave me a little bit more confidence. I've had two tough matches. Billie Jean was three sets, and Virginia was three sets, and I think I'm going to use that to my advantage, and hopefully I'll play better as a result in the finals. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. We'll just check the tape. 